going to be doing like kind of a tutorial on how to uh, air dribble off the ground and off the ceiling or wall. So first you want to start out by going under the ball when you hit the ball, or it depends. If you want, there's like kind of two different types of air dribbles. There's the one where you go super far forward with it, or you just push the ball forward and you almost can get a rebound like so, like doing something like this and kind of, you know, trying to stay with it and get a rebound. And there's the other ones that are like, you're going to come from under the ball and you're going to keep it close and you're going to try to like stay with the ball. So there's kind of two types. And of course there's the ground ones as well. But there's two types of weight to be like, types of uh, ways to do air dribbles. So I'll show you how to set it up for the one where you're going super fast across. So what you want to do is you kind of want to get it on the an angle and push it out like that. You kind of want to be coming from the, I mean, it doesn't matter which side you're coming from, but you kind of want to hit it on the side of part of the ball, like a little bit under, not really too far under. You don't want to just go directly under the ball, but you kind of want to do it at like an angle where you're like kind of pushing it out, but at the same time, you're going from the side of the ball. Like on this play right here, I'm going to come from the side of the ball to jump with it and now it's kind of going fast so I can stay with it and try to you know get a rebound or beat someone in the air so that's kind of how you do that one you kind of practice coming from the side and then being able to stay with it and, and maybe getting a double touch or something or trying to get around one person this is the one where you're trying to beat someone up the wall you're trying to beat someone and you're like okay let me beat them to the air and then you're basically trying to give a pass for your teammate or something you're not really trying to score it I mean, you might be able to score, but usually you don't. The ones that are like clean and you usually are able to score, the ones that you come from under the ball, and then you jump and either you kind of keep control of it, and you just keep feathering your boost and you, you follow it. So how you want to do that one? Like this one is more harder to do, I'd say, because this one you can just like hit it out and you can just like basically follow it, do something like that. I mean, it's not really totally an air dribble, but I mean, you can turn it into an air dribble when you come outside the wall like this and just you know you that's just to beat someone really but the other one is kind of harder with how much control you actually need to have so what you want to do is you want to come from under the ball it's set up is everything like I say in most of my tutorials if you get the setup everything will be easy so you just want to remember kind of boost because you, you want to boost slowly then you want to boost when you're about to pop up the ball you want to kind of get a little bit of speed right I get a little bit of speed right here then I don't boost and then when I'm about to pop it I jump off and boost and then I, I try to go from the middle of the ball I try to keep my car pointing in the middle of the ball like underside middle of the ball so I try to keep it up on my car if you're able to control your car to keep it like always touching the middle like this like the middle of the bottom then you'll be able to keep it up for a pretty long time and that's how all the freestylers do it is they go from under the ball on the very center of it so you want to come under you want to try to keep it in the center and I'm not trying to score these, I'm just trying to show you how you kind of can air dribble off the wall to where you can start understanding how to air dribble it. You maybe want to start by keeping it in the middle and trying to just, you know, jump off and then, okay, I'm going to keep trying to touch this in the middle. Try my hardest to touch this in the middle and to keep it up or do whatever. But most of the time it's like, okay, let me go like this and let me slowly feather, keep it close to me and drive it right in. So yeah, that, that's how to do the kind of wall one. It's kind of simple. Once you get the hang of the setup, it's like, okay, pop it, follow it slowly. And remember, remember, a big part of it is your boosting when you're about to pop it off. So how you pop it is like, don't use a lot of boost, and then when you kind of go slow, and then when you're about to go under, you pop it, use your boost right there. If you need to slow it down and watch it through that, that's totally fine. Kind of like, I'm going a little bit slower, then I boost right before I'm about to hit the ball. That's kind of how you get that good pop. And you can do so many other things. So now how to come from the ground. You want to come from the ground by putting the ball on the back side of your car like this like so but the more you put it on the back of your car the higher higher it's going to pop as you double jump if you put it in the front like this it's not going to go high it's just going to go forward and it's going to be hard to air dribble but when you come from the back of your car like middle back it's going to it's going to go way higher so you have more time to do whatever you want so you kind of want to go, like you can do, in the front you'll never get a really good air dribble, like you can never get it that high. You can still do it though, you can do something like this. You can still get it up, but it's not going to be as good. But if you want those air dribbles from like across the field, when you like you bounce it up or, or when you're dribbling like from back here, you need to kind of set it on the middle part of your car, 
like the very middle, and you jump and you're able to follow it. Just keep it's try to stay in the middle of the ball. When you when you're air dribbling, try to go on the underside center of the ball. So the very dab center on the bottom part of the ball, that's where you want to be looking to when you're in the air trying to dribble. You want to keep your your front part of your car touching that middle side. And you want to keep the ball in the middle of your car as well when you're about to jump. So you want to jump and go for the middle part of the ball. Try to try to keep practicing it and practicing and practicing it. And if you honestly practice that much, you can end up like those DLGs and gainers who just air dribble for years and never drop the ball because of the fact that they can, you know, dribble for literally forever because they are able to have such good car control where they can get it under there. So yeah, it's basically a setup. I'm gonna show you guys one more time the air dribble setup from the ground. Like you wanna keep the ball like dabs up, dab right in the middle of your, you know, your car. Like right on top of that ghost logo. Like literally that's where you should probably have the ball. I mean, of course you probably don't, or the Dominus right on top of that hood. You kind of want to keep it right there, and then when you jump, you want to double jump, and you can keep it with you and do whatever you want. And now I'm going to kind of show a few with me, like, scoring them, what it'd look like if I did it, like, trying to score. So I'm able to, you know, keep the ball close. And you can go for a double touch, rebound, doesn't really matter. Like, you can you can even go for a reset. Like, you can, you can double jump, hit it against the wall, like, hit it across to your teammate. Like, you know what I mean? Like, those are the kind of things that you can do with it where it's like, you know, one defender's to your right. Right, and you, you beat them to the ball, you pop it up, and then you get a pinch against the wall and it goes middle. You know, like it's it's so many different things that you can do with air dribbles from the ground. I think it's probably one of the most effective, especially bounce dribbles like this. You can go for a reset. No one can stop that if you go for a reset like that. that that's super OP as well, bounce dribbles, where you bounce it and you air dribble, and then you can go for like a, a rebound, and then you can keep falling. Like it's so much stuff. The so much stuff that you can do. The possibilities are literally endless. Like. It's kind of crazy all the stuff you can do. Air dribbles are super important if you know how to do them because, like, you can just keep it close and, like, you can bait out defenders. Like, I can bait out a defender by doing something as simple as this. Like, I can hit it up the wall, right? I can go like this and I can follow it, right? I see someone's about to go and then I wait and then I keep it super high and get it over them. So, yep, yeah, this is kind of all. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them. And the comments, it's really about the setup because once you get the setup, everything starts to become a lot easier. So just if you need to, like, practice all the setups for these kind of shots. Like, don't forget, you know, when you roll up the wall, ball up the wall, you kind of want to come from the side. If you're doing the fast one, you just want to hit it and you go for a double touch. But if you're trying to do the slow one where you keep possession of it, you want to come from under, under the ball. Don't boost until you're about to pop it. Then you boost, you stay with it, and then you can air dribble and you can keep it closer. And then if you want to go on the ground, put the ball on the back side of your car, like around like the top of your hood. And then when you do that, you, you either, you can double jump or you can single jump. Jump doesn't really matter, but double jumping, you know, it's way better. And then you can kind of keep it and air dribble it in. So yeah, that's all. If you guys want any more tutorials, let me know in the comments and see ya.